Kara, this is excellent. Your arms that we talk about the out on the first step, which works in correlation with the left, the left, right, left. Last three steps for a right-handed attacker. Arms are very well displayed out here. Uh, appreciate that very much right there. And this is the element right here. We're talking about the heel toe roll. And that is something that actually will accelerate you into the next step. Um, this is a fine point, but you're a good athlete and a good learner. And that's why I'm emphasizing this. Moving on. Very good eagle here, Kara. I really appreciate that. Again, you're bringing very little baggage, not a lot of negative habits. Right here is the focal point. If you look at your right foot, right there, this area right here, here's where we want a much greater heel-toe roll. This is what will stop your forward inertia and also start increasing your vertical jump. So again, remember the, the, the duck landing on water with the the feet up and the heel hitting first here and then and this is the area we're talking about right there that is critical now the next step as you talked about it in your softball terminology of uh, the resistor foot or resisting foot that will be what we call a break step in volleyball so let's see what we have next here so this is this step right here we're talking about. That is critical. Uh, as we say, the most important part of attacking for a right-handed attacker is her left foot or his left foot. This break step should be more towards the front of the tramp. And the trampoline just allows us uh, isolated environmental training. We can actually control what you're doing. So this, the feet right now at this point in time should be wider apart. Your left foot should be more towards this area right here towards the front of the tramp. And remember the heel toe roll here. And that's what we'll work on today. The actions that I'm seeing right here with the arms are very good. The blurring effect, it means fast, which is good. And today we'll go into the uh, percentage components of jumping. But this is excellent, Kara. You're doing a great job. Appreciate it very much. Now this area right here is what we're talking about. Um, wider. And what happens here is with a narrower foot plant or base, the quadriceps, which are at least 50% of your jumping motion right there, are not utilized as greatly as they possibly can be. And also the arms will start sometimes compensating. But that's what we call the granny approach. Um, and that's what we also will deal with today in training. Like in what I say here, as far as left arm up is excellent. This right here is a very common trait. What happens is the body angle like gets like this. The body angle right now should be pretty much straight up and down, not at an angle like that. That comes from this creature right here. The left foot has not stopped the inertia, so the body starts trying to do the correction in the air. And that's where the compensation, because the body balance in the air, the mind's not going to allow the body to do anything that's unsafe. And so therefore, you're correcting with your left arm here. It won't go what we call up, like we talked about yesterday. 
do really like your arm swing. You've got a great technicality right going right here in your arm. I really appreciate it. Probably a softball carryover. And one of the things I really like, taking you forward here, a little bit of an imbalance when you're landing. A little bit backwards compensation right here. You should actually be slightly leaning forward. It's a much safer position to land in. But what I do like is the fact that both feet are landing together and you're landing fairly softly. That's a huge positive step forwards. So nicely done, young lady. Appreciate it. You're doing a great job.